It has destroyed our fence. It has destroyed everything that we have known to love. It has destroyed our pride. It has destroyed our joy. It has destroyed everything but the cabin in the woods. Alright, so as you can see, I've got this hat. I've had it for quite some time. I had it for quite a few seasons, but it's not yet time to upgrade, you know? So Hurricane Sandy, on the other hand, has destroyed a lot. It has destroyed our fence over here. It's destroyed that. It's destroyed our XBWF arena. Remember, we used to walk out and have all cool, fun times with the XBWF. We used to walk out of that cage and music and stuff like that. But still, after all these years, this trampoline has still survived. After all these years, it has survived snowstorms, it has survived hurricanes, it has survived earthquakes, and everything in between. I cannot believe that this is still standing here today. And there is Manchild again. Who knows when we'll get to upload this. But we have absolutely zero power right now. You can't get through. Lie. Yo, what up? I'm chilling in traffic right now. There are no lights. There are no street lights. There are no red lights. There are no green lights. There are no yellow lights. There is nothing right now. Signs are swept out of here and power is no more and trees are destroyed. This place is like a war zone. It's pretty crazy. And here I am in the car chilling. Of course there would be music but YouTube, you know. Since we have no power, the best thing to do is to show you guys what happened here because, you know, it's tons of fun even though we're sitting in traffic moving very, very slow and somehow the other side is moving, which I don't understand. Uh, but yeah, let's go on an adventure. There's a house and a tree right over there. Check it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That tree came knocking at their door. Just like we came knocking at heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. This is what I do for you guys. Turning around all the time. Every single street we're turning around because there is a blocked road. And I am driving around doing this storm, showing you what happened, showing you all what happened and I am turning around right now. Here we go. All those people out there, they're all filling up their little cans of gasoline. This is all you hear, sirens. There's down lights right over here, trying to evade them. Getting hit right there. You can see it. Have a look for yourself. Down lights. And I attract a lot of attention with this camera. I don't know why. People are like staring at me like, what is that guy doing talking to a camera? What is that guy doing, you know? It's crazy, cray cray. But you guys gotta see this. It's cool. It's cool and adventurous stuff. This stuff only happens once in a lifetime and now it's happening right now and I'm sharing it with you. So people can say I'm crazy for all that I want. For all that they want. It's obvious that we can't get by the road up here right now because there is a tree blocking the road. And that gas station looks like it's destroyed. And there are people lined up for gas for miles. It's like Black Friday, but for gas. Like they come a, they're coming a month early just to get gas for their lawnmowers and jet skis and uh, machines of epic proportions. And uh, gotta wake me up when September ends. So back in the other end, check it out. Everything is all like tarped off or snapped off or something. It's going like crazy. This is where I do like a lot of my videos over here. As you can see, it's like a war zone. Everything is like battered and broken down and everything. It's really, really weird. It's really ominous. And a lot of people are just like walking around like aimlessly. Like they're just walking around because there's like nothing to do. There's like no power. There's no nothing. So other than trees down, trees blocking houses, and Mitt Romney signs over here that are still standing. Unfortunately, we are still in a power outage and as of now, as of this video, it's been an adventure and a half. So be sure to leave a comment down in the comments box down below. Let me know well, what you think. Do you think it was bad? Do you think it was good? What happened to you if you were living on the East Coast? What happened to you? Leave a comment down in the comments box down below. Fortunately, we did not has get get as bad as the Jersey Shore, which was really, really bad down there. Um, but we did tie down our Snookies. We did tie down our situation, so you don't have to worry. They didn't blow over to the west. I know California was worried about that. We did not uh, have them blow over there. We were safe we were with that, so we're good there. 
Uh, but yeah, guys, leave a comment down in the comments box down below. I'm stopping at a red light right now, so you you better be sure to leave a comment down below because that comment is gonna stop right now, as right when I hit this break. Peace. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Cause that's what's up. If you didn't, subscribe for more.